Hi there. So the main story over the last week, of course, has been the snow. The return of the beast from the east, some people are calling it, beast from the east too. We certainly have had quite a bit of snow in some places. East Anglia, for example, on Sunday, quite a bit of snow fell across parts of East Suffolk, uh, East Essex, Kent, those kind of areas with strong winds as well. So quite disruptive conditions, a lot of drifting snow in places, some blizzard conditions. So quite severe weather here on Sunday. And then overnight into Monday, that snow becoming a lot more widespread as well. So across more of the region, and you can see here, uh, these are our observations from the end of the day on Monday, the end of Monday afternoon. Um, these obviously very kindly submitted by all of our followers in the East Anglia region to our new snow depth recording tool. Just go to weatherquest.co.uk forward slash snow depth forward slash map to take a look at that. And you can see just how widespread the totals were, five to 15 centimetres centimeters for many places but you know across parts of Suffolk over 25 centimeters so nearly a foot of snow in some places and quite significant drifts as well drifts of a couple of feet here and there so very disruptive conditions and you can see a lot of those purples indicating quite a lot of snow there and of course overnight into Monday showers continued for many places on a couple of convergence lines one over sort of North Norfolk, those kind of areas, and one further south. And that just bringing a top up to the snow for many places, really. And you can see sort of the 24 hours uh, period from uh, to midday on Tuesday. A lot more snow recorded in parts of North Norfolk as well. A lot of those purple colours. So some quite significant snow across East Anglia, but also elsewhere in the UK too, um, across sort of much of central and uh, northeastern uh, England and parts of Scotland as well. Um, those strong winds really helping to push those snow showers inland so some quite cold and disruptive weather we've had over the last few days but will it continue let's take a look at the forecast starting off with the jet stream now as we've mentioned in previous farming forecast videos the jet has been quite southerly shifted of late and you can see here it does sort of maintain that kind of feel as we go over the next couple of days or so but you can see it does start to strengthen towards the end of the week and maybe push slightly further north as it tries to steer us that milder air and an area of low pressure towards us but we have got a sort of a blocking high developing up here which will act to sort of inhibit that as it tries to approach the UK so a bit of change on the way maybe Let's take a look at the forecast. So for tonight, I think we're expecting a continuation of showers for many places, particularly across eastern areas and in eastern Scotland and parts of East Anglia especially. But elsewhere, plenty of clear skies as well and winds falling slightly lighter tonight too. Um, you can see those showers continuing there. And I think it will be a chilly night for many places across southern Britain, widely minus four, minus five Celsius, particularly over any lying snow, minus seven, minus eight across parts of northern England and down to sort of minus 13 Celsius across parts of central Scotland. So a chilly night is expected. Now, as we go into tomorrow, those showers continuing across eastern parts at first, but I think as we go through the day tomorrow, they'll become more isolated as high pressure builds from the north. They'll become more isolated and confined to southeastern areas, I think, through the day, allowing many places to turn dry to end the day on Wednesday. Uh, winds also turning more sort of northerly in eastern parts, but sort of east to northeastly further west. Um, so quite an interesting day for Wednesday and as I said Wednesday night turning uh, dry and clear for many places so leading to another chilly night expected um, as I said particularly areas with any lying snow likely to get very cold we could see temperatures as low as minus 8 minus 10 Celsius across parts of sort of eastern Britain and northern Britain and even uh, down to minus 15 or lower across parts of Scotland so a very chilly night expected do keep an eye on the forecast for that now into the rest of the week and towards the weekend, we have generally got this area of high pressure across sort of region, across eastern areas, and keeping conditions a bit drier over here for a change. Um, so it's quite settled across these parts. And further west, we'll have occasional fronts trying to push sort of eastwards across the UK, but they are really being sort of 
uh, hampered by this area of high pressure, which is just sort of blocking them from moving further east. So cloud and rain in the west at times, but further east, a slightly drier picture, maybe a few showers in the northeast at times, but otherwise, yes, generally drier and winds turning more southeasterly, quite a keen southeasterly breeze developing um, towards the weekend as well. Still feeling cold in many eastern parts, but some milder air might just start to push into western parts of Ireland. Let's take a look at the air mass temperature then. So starting off uh, tomorrow, it looks like we've still got very cold air mass over us, but as I set this in motion, we can see those blue colours starting to fade away and maybe a signal for slightly a milder air mass to sort of start to push in from the west. So maybe a return to slightly sort of closer to normal temperatures, um, not quite as chilly sort of in the west, but I think still hanging on to some of those colder temperatures in the east for some time. Now, if you ever want any more information on the forecast, the best place to come is our forecasters. You can call us on 09065 777675. We're in the office every day from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. And we'd always love to chat to you, answer your questions, and have a good old natter. Calls cost £1.55 a minute plus network access charges. So taking a look a bit further ahead into sort of the end of the weekend, the first part of next week, and those fronts do look to finally push their way eastwards across the UK as that air of high pressure kind of slips southwards into uh, parts of Central Europe. So becoming a little bit sort of more unsettled towards the end of the weekend, first part of next week with spells of rain, sleet or snow for many places, particularly turning to sleet or snow on the leading edge as that meets the sort of colder air in eastern parts. So becoming quite unsettled and that really sort of starting off the flavour for next week um, where it looks like things will be a little bit more westerly dominated. So areas of low pressure coming in from the west, but again sort of impeded by that high pressure which is going to be sitting over Europe, so not able to push all the way across Europe, um, so sort of weakening as they move eastwards. So I think we'll have spells of rain, sleet or snow at times and occasional spells of milder air too, but we'll also have ridges of high pressure bringing us some drier and brighter intervals in between. So not all bad, um, but yes, definitely a sort of more mobile pattern as we go into next week. And taking a look at the sea level pressure ensemble, this is kind of supported. Um, if you want more information about ensemble forecasting, just take a look at the explainer up here. But this is the ensemble for mean sea level pressure at Cambridge. And you can see quite low pressure at the moment, but as that high builds towards over the sort of next few days and towards the weekend, you can see we got higher pressure here. And then as we go into the first part of next week and that, that those fronts finally manage to push eastwards across the country, pressure dropping slightly, but not quite as low as it was. So still sort of remaining in the, in the kind of middle ground with those low pressures moving eastwards at times, but also ridges of high pressure. Taking a look at the monthly forecast for that week as well, you can see the idea of higher than average pressure sort of uh, southern Scandinavia, central parts of Europe just sort of sitting here and blocking any weather patterns from moving eastwards across the continent. You can see the influence of low pressure out to the west here, so the idea of lower pressure trying to push in, so giving us that mixed bag of conditions that I think we can expect next week with occasional spells of rain, sleet and snow, but also some drier and brighter interludes as well. And this is obviously reflected very well in the precipitation anomaly map. You can see a lot of those brown colours where high pressures are expected to keep things more settled, while areas of low pressure really only sort of affect uh, Western Europe at times where there'll be most of the spells of rain here and those green colours too across Iberia and sort of parts of, parts of Western Britain as well. So we can expect some uh, areas with above average rainfall, but for most places across Europe, it will be drier than average. Temperatures still hanging on below average, very cold over parts of Eastern Europe and Western Russia. Um, and indeed, sort of much of Britain as well. You can see parts of Ireland, some parts in the far west, um, closer to average, so not quite as cold, but still that cold air hanging on for much of Britain. So I think, although it will be slightly better next week, still slightly below average temperatures, so that to watch out for. While really Iberia remains the only place with above average temperatures still lingering here. 
into week three. Now, this is interesting. There is a slightly stronger signal for high pressure to develop. Now, if you've been watching our previous farming forecast, you'll have noted in the last couple of weeks, we have had a signal for higher than average pressure building across sort of parts of Northern Europe in week four, but it's never come closer than week four until now. And we are seeing that signal for it in week three. So potentially a slightly stronger chance of high pressure starting to build across Northern Europe as we go towards sort of the end of February. And you can see the knock-on effect that will have if that does uh, come out to be the case on the precipitation, so drier than average across much of Europe um, with only just a few sort of weak fronts managing to push in from the west. So I wouldn't uh, place your bets just quite yet on that being a very, very dry picture as we could still have some uh, low pressure systems coming in from the west. But it does look like we've got a quite a decent signal for that now with really any areas of low pressure sort of being pushed across southern Europe and those cold temperatures remaining in place as well. Not much change um, from the previous week here. We're still seeing uh, below average temperatures, particularly sort of starting to push in across Ireland, which was closer to average in the week two. But I think we're looking at widespread chilly temperatures for many places as we go towards the end of February into week four, we've got the idea that high pressure will sort of move slightly more over northwestern Europe. So becoming more centered here, more dominant for us, that would be the case, with areas of low pressure generally being steered to the south of that and across to sort of southwestern Russia, those kind of areas which will uh, have the wetter than average conditions, while elsewhere, many places will stay drier than average. So that is definitely one to watch, not set in stone yet. Do keep an eye on the forecast for then. And indeed, below average temperatures across much of Europe for that, that first week of March, that week four, it does look like it could be a chilly one. So just to summarize, I think over the next couple of days, starting to come drier in the east as that high pressure builds from the north um, and those showers becoming more isolated through the day on Wednesday, more confined to southeastern parts. And with those skies clearing as well, some very cold nights are expected. So do keep an eye on the forecast for that. Um, and then for western parts, really, we're expecting it to become slightly cloudy with spells of rain as fronts try and push eastwards across the UK. And then when they finally do manage to, Sunday, start of Monday kind of time, it signals the start of a slightly more mobile pattern into the following week. I think there'll still be drier intervals in there as we see ridges of high pressure as well, but more in the way of spells of rain, more in the way of westerly dominated conditions for that following week. And it will have some milder air at times as well, but I think the general idea is for it to remain cold, although not as cold as it has been over the last week or so. And then, as we just mentioned, the potential for high pressure to build as we go towards the end of the month. Still, as I said, not set in stone, but do keep an eye on the forecast. It's looking slightly more likely than it has been in previous weeks. Thank you for watching this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So if you're watching on YouTube, leave us a comment and a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe as well. And you can always get in touch with us on social media. Thank you.